Hey there, Nancy Drew Clue Crew. If you weren't watching in the last video, Nancy just figured out how to get to two new places. One of them's called Dove Island, it's here to the northeast, and the other one is Half Moon Reef, which is to the southwest. We figured it out using the uh, astrolabe and the instructions in El Toro's journal. Let me grab this message in a bottle. And first I'm going to be sailing off to Dove Island, which should be around here somewhere. Ah, I think, I think it's right here. And if you circle around the island, you'll notice that the island kind of looks... Oh, hey, another message in a bottle. Ah, I went off course. But if you look around the island, you'll notice that the island kind of looks like a dove. As you can see, that's the wing. Oh, well, as you could have seen if I kept sailing. That's the wing. This is the dove's eye. You can see it's got its eye, a mouth, and there you go. It looks like a dove. What's that? A tosha. A tosha. I'll bet that's the galleon El Toro mentioned, the one that sank. All right, way to go, Nancy. She's solving the puzzles for me. George, can you hear me? It's Nancy. Over. Where are you? Over. On a little island that's right across from the resort. Listen, I need to find out the date that a Spanish ship called the Atosha sank. I'm pretty sure there's a placard in the shed that has the date on it. So I need for you to go to the shed, look at the placard, then call me back with a date, okay? Over. I can do that. Whoa, what was that? What was what? Over. Are you outside? No. Why? Over. And I think you may have a prowler. Maybe you should go take a look. I'm on it. Over and out. Wait a minute. I recognize the sound of those prowlers. It's those monkeys again! Oh man, the monkeys must have broken into the shed. Oh no! The monkeys ruined everything! In celebration of the date the Atosha sank, which is inscribed on its front, this commemorative silver coin... Oh no, the coin's gone. Those monkeys are not only vandals, they're also thieves. That's just peachy. Ooh, those monkeys! Those monkeys are in big trouble now. And as you can guess, we're going to have to go to the area where the monkeys are and win the coin back by playing some games with them. I'm just taking the field research notes and checking out the monkey exhibit just in case. Lucky for us, we have the golf cart so George can drive over to where the monkeys are and challenge them to a game. Which monkey has the coin? It's the monkey in the middle, the one we haven't played a game with yet. Now the way to play this game, as Sunny June's notes say, it's just simply a game of blind chance. Would you like to play a game? You just spin the wheel, and you move however many spaces it tells you to move to. And you hope to be the first one to get to the finish. Now if you're unlucky and you land on spot number 13, you get sent all the way back to the start again. And if you land on spot number 25, you get sent all the way back to spot number 14. There's no real strategy involved, except just hope you get lucky. And just play the game over and over and over again until you win. Alright, it looks like I'm going to win this one. One? Ah. Uh, 
Uh oh. The blue monkey is catching up to me. Oh no, I landed on 25. That's bad news. Oh, and the blue monkey gets a 6. Right, right, right. I think this blue monkey is cheating. I got beaten by a monkey? Ouch. Yeah. I feel your pain, George. Right, so what I'm going to do now is skip to when I actually win the game. Hey everyone, it's three turns later, and I am now far in the lead. Alright, so this is Six the coin. September 1622. Bingo. 6 9 16 2 2. George calling Nancy. Come in, Nancy. Over. Hey, George. Did you find out the date? Over. Yep. Mission accomplished. Fantastic. So tell me. According to the coin on that placard, the Atosha sank on the 6th of September, 1622. George, you are awesome. I'll let you know if I need anything else. Over and out. All right, so that leaves us with a not-too-difficult puzzle. Just get all the dials to spell 6, 9, 16, 22. Ah, but apparently when you move one dial, it sometimes moves the other ones. Six, nine. Okay, six, nine. Sixteen, twenty. Six. 9, 16, 22. There you go. This unlocks, well, the seven virtues of conduct. And is that it? No, it also gives us this thingy. Well, that's a strange looking thingy. I wonder what that is. You know what the thing is? It's actually the next puzzle. So let me just go sailing off to the mainland. The puzzle picks up here at Shark Cove, where Nancy can go looking for buried treasure. Now that she has the metal detector, it's a lot easier for Nancy to find where to dig. And Nancy's looking for a couple of things. She's looking for things like those, yes. Let me see if I can find the thing that she's mainly looking for, though. Oh. That looks kind of familiar. I think I might have seen that on somebody's arm in another game. Here we go, this is the thing Nancy is looking for. It's the puzzle, and what she wants to do is get this image here in the middle of the puzzle to look just like this little coin thing. See, you can see the owl here is kind of similar to the owl there, so you want to reform the owl on this thing. You'll notice that I'm missing two plates, so you're going to have to go around exploring and try to find the other two plates. They're randomly located each time you play the game, so just uh, explore and eventually you'll be able to find all of them. You also might find Bess's bracelet, which is buried in the sand here. And if you dig everything up, you'll get a star at the end of the game. Alright, so there we go. Those are all the plates. Once you have the plates, you go back to this thing. And like I said, the goal is to make it look like this owl here. You make it look like an owl by doing these three plates. You have to move them like this. These are the three plates that were buried in the sand, so that's how you know which ones to put there. That forms the owl, and it gets you another dial.